Okay, I'm Jeff and I'm about to head off on a weekend up to Harvey Dam to try and catch a trout. And this is my car, fully stocked, everything I need, I hope. I've got my canoe, fishing rods, I've got my hat for the hot sun, I've got food, jumpers, camping gear, tents, everything. And uh, you just come around here and look on this side as well, you'll see it's absolutely jam packed. And you can see in here like this, we've got the beautiful old canoe here. And that should uh, get me around Harvey Dam. And uh, I've got my fishing rods, all my rod holders all set to go in the canoe here. The kayak, canoe, whatever you want to call it. And down here I've got my firewood. I've got all my firewood ready. I've got my pots here to heat up pot, heat up some water so I can have a nice hot shower after I've been fishing all day. And I've got lots of warm clothes. I've got my paddle there. And uh, everything I need for a weekend away. And hopefully the weather's going to stay like this, which is going to be fantastic. And um, I'm off now and uh, I'll catch up with you shortly. Traveling along the southwestern highway, heading up to Harvey Dam for the weekend loaded up for a fishing trip. Got my canoe, got everything loaded up in the back there, and away we go. It's a bit of a little bit of cloud ahead, but hopefully it's not gonna rain. But all the pastures here, very nice and green. We've had a fair bit of rain lately, so everything's looking lush and green. It's gonna be bloody cold tonight. I reckon it'll get down to about three degrees. Hopefully catch a redfin perch, maybe a couple of trout if I'm really lucky. Five, five, six, come on and get your kicks, now you don't need a money with a fish like that, do ya? It's coming onto the dam now. Look at this, here we go. Here's Harvey Dam. Looks fantastic. Wow, check it out guys, look at this. Harvey Dam, here we are. Goes that way, and it goes down that way as well. Big dam. So we've got some happy campers already hanging out down there. So we're going to look for a camping spot now. Here we go. Oops. No. Oh, four wheel track here. It's pretty cut up. See so here we go, we'll put it into four wheel drive. Good thing this is old, old basher. It's all pretty cut up here, but we seem to have a bit of a track through here. And we're going down, we've got the aircon on because it's pretty warm outside, start to warm up a bit. This is a spot that I saw on the map that I don't want to get to. But hopefully, we can get through here. So far, it's not too bad. Like it's a nice little spot in here. I'll go down a bit further and check it out a bit further down. Looking pretty damn good. This is it. This is my camping spot. Just looking around here for a good spot. Trying to find some flat ground. And I reckon I've found a bit of grassy patch here. I reckon this is the patch right here somewhere. A little bit of shade, nice outlook onto the onto the dam. That's the view I'm gonna have from my tent. Looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? Well, here we are. And uh, I've just been working for the last hour and a half putting the tent up. I'll tell you, it's uh, no mean feat because it's really different to the ones I had when I was younger, like a young fella, that was just <laughs> so much easier. But I'm gonna just show you a little bit about it and point out a couple of things that you should really know before you put it up. Still got all the stuff to load up into the tent, but here's the tent itself, it's a bloody beauty. It's, um, I got it for $99 at BCF, and it's, you know, like on special. I'll take you inside. So there's heaps of room in there, it's a big four-man tent. It's got your window flaps, all zipped mosquito netting and everything. And it's absolutely fabulous. Check out the view, guys. What a view, eh, from my tent. So just um, turning around now, looking at the tent from this angle. You can see it right there. It's called the Wanderer. 
and um, it's a bloody beauty. As I said, I got it from a BCF. Um, this magnitude 4V Wanderer tent, and there it is, unbelievable quality and fantastic. It took me a little while to figure it all out, but uh, one of the main things I didn't do, which you should remember, is this this bar here that goes across the front. Don't forget to put it in the sleeve because I've made a mistake and had it inside, so it's got to go on the outside through the sleeve. The other thing you've got to be wary of, which is a bit fiddly, are these little things. So you can see there, you start pulling it from this from this side of the knot, that side of the knot, and not not this side. So you've got to start pulling it from the opposite side of the knot part, and you slide that up there, and that's all there was. Other than that, it went for it went together pretty pretty damn good. And I can't wait to go for a swim. I'm about to go and check out some up this end. Here's the entry to the dam and I can hear the water running. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going up there for a swim now and maybe I'll relax a bit after my effort putting the tent up. I might take the canoe out there and have a fish around these little uh, sticks sticking up. I think there's going to be some fish in there hopefully. Or maybe on that bank on the other side there looks like a steep bank going into the river into the uh, dam so i'm going to give it a shot but first of all i've got to unload the car do a bit more unloading and pack up my tent a bit you know get it all happening so i've got to start doing that but what a fabulous spot hey look at this lots of shady trees blue sky firewood i can have a little fire out here tonight and uh, cook up some sangers okay catch you later Okay guys, I've got my canoe out the back there and I'm all set up, a bit of gear here Just going to lock the car up in a minute with the iPad in it and uh, here's my little tables and chairs table and chairs here ready for having dinner tonight looking at the view there going to build a fire over there got me firewood, bit of cardboard from the tent and I'll use that to start the fire and here's my little camp tent set up got me a little chair out here gas bottle if I need it with my cooker and that little little cook burner there and here's my bed made all up lots of warm blankets book to read and all the essentials the only thing I forgot was my big tank full of water but oh well do have some water and we got plenty of water out there so I'm not going to be short of having a bath or getting wet okay so now I'm gonna have a little snack and go for a swim well it's now uh, night time and uh, I've been fishing all afternoon and I managed to catch one little uh, redfin. So having for, I'm going to have him for breakfast. I've got my bright lights going here. You can see the bright lights. And I've got an amazing fire going over here. Beautiful fire. And uh, it's fantastic, lovely and warm. And I've just had a shower in this amazing shower. I'm going to show you the shower up here. It's a um, canvas shower. I just heated up some water. I'll take, I'll take it around this side, it's a bit better. Pretty dark here. There you go. So it's a big bag, and you fill it with water, and a lovely hot shower. And this is the um, big tin I heated up on the fire. The way I heated it up, I put it on these spikes. Two spikes you see, either side of the fire there. And I put a branch across those spikes that I made up and I heated the water up so it wouldn't tip over. And then I went and got down to the lake and um, got some cold water because it was way too hot. And I, um, then I put the cold water with the hot water and I had a lovely warm shower, it was fantastic. And so I did really well, it was an amazing afternoon. This water here is fantastic. There's like eagles flying around, nesting there, and like the fishing, you know, caught a fish and had a swim, had a wonderful cold swim in the lake. Then I had a hot shower, I got the fire going. Now I'm gonna chill out for a bit and then I've got some sangers to put on the fire. And in the morning I'll cook my fish for breakfast. So um, it's been a fantastic sight, it's amazing. Before I chill out, I'm going to show you the amazing moon. It's a still night. There's a full moon up there with the clouds up there. Absolutely amazing. Gorgeous night. And the crickets are all chirping. And uh, frogs are croaking. Have a listen. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't that amazing sound, eh? Fantastic. Okay, guys, I've chilled out. Now I'm going to show you this ingenious idea that I've had. How ingenuity, it's a fantastic piece of ingenuity. What I've done is I've used these, um, use these steel pegs that I've got to cantilever a sausage over the fire that's so cooking there nicely. And uh, it's not really clear here, but you can just see it. You can see I've used those steel spikes and that's how I cantilever it with a stick. I've got my sausage cooking over the fire. Well, we survived the night. It was a pretty rest, restless night, tossing and turning all night. It was bloody freezing last night. It must have got down to bloody zero. And uh, my body wasn't too bad. I got plenty of blankets here. I got this uh, blanket here and this duvet here. But uh, trying to keep my head warm and moving around, tossing and turning and moving from side to side and trying to keep my back from little gaps of cold air coming in. So it was a very restless night. But um, I managed to survive the night and it's now about 20 past five and I'm thinking about throwing a line in or we've got to clean that fish, have him for breakfast. Um, but it's bloody cold. Uh, I'm going to put some warm clothes on, maybe get the fire going um, or maybe just use the gas to make a cuppa. And uh, it's very windy out there too, so I don't know how the fishing's going. But, but here we are on the weekend. <laughs> this is where I slept last night. <laughs> it's tasty, doesn't it? But it was a bloody uncomfortable, I'll tell you. Anyway, we've got the fire going. Have a look at that. That's a fire, isn't it? Check it out. Now you can see those two metal posts they put up. It's a fabulous thing. And you can put the big, um, put this big water. That's what I normally put on it. See, I've drilled little holes in the handles, flatten it out and drill little holes in there and then I hook it up on here, hook it up on here and I can heat up my shower water later but at the moment I've just got the gas, got the gas one going just to make a cuppa and that is a bit easier because that fire is a bit hot and I don't want to burn my nozzle so I, um, I've got the, uh, this little one puppy going here and got the water in there I got me, got me cup of going there, cup of coffee, tea bag coffee, get some milk happening, and uh, we're going to sit back and enjoy the fire, listen to the bullfrogs. <laughs> I don't mind them now that I'm awake. I tell you what, they kept me awake last night, buggers. Well, the sun's coming up, as you can see. It's going to be a beautiful day. Sun's coming up. And uh, I've decided uh, I'm not going to uh, clean my fish this morning. Could be bothered. I'm just going to have some scrambled eggs. I've got my onion, my tomato, a bit of butter, some cracked pepper. And I'm going to put a bit of cheese in it. I found a bit of cheese. And I've got a piece of bread. And that's going to be my breakfast. There's my eggs all beaten up. I'm going to beat the eggs up a bit. A bit of milk and a bit of cracked pepper. Anyway, see, I'll perch that... Um, Burner up on top of that on that pot there, so it doesn't melt my plastic table, which is a bit windy. Maybe I'll uh, make a bit of a windbreak for it. Look at that. There you go. A bit of a windbreak. Well, I've had my breakfast. That was fantastic. Scrambled eggs and tomatoes and onions. That was amazing. I'm just watching the sun coming up now. Look at the beautiful colour in the sky there. You can see that beautiful sunrise. And. Um, <coughs> There's the water down there, and I'm about to go and uh, see if I can't catch me some more fish. And uh, so it's going to be a fabulous day. Well, I went and had a fish, but not much luck. And uh, it's very windy, freezing cold. I've got a um, polar fleece and a jumper and a t-shirt, and it went straight through the whole lot. I'm bloody freezing cold. And my feet all wet, soaking wet feet, a little bit disheartened, cold, wet and miserable, so I'm going to get changed and then uh, I might think about packing up and heading back to a nice warm house. So I'm all packed up, that whole tent went to that little bag, <laughs> unbelievable, but it did. 
There we go, all packed up again, fully stocked to the gunnels. Campsite's all clean and tidy. Didn't leave any rubbish. That's the most important thing when you're camping, is not to leave any rubbish. I've got my towel and soap there. I'm just about to go and uh, have a skinny dip down the lake. So yeah, um, I can't wait to jump in the water. It's gonna be cold, but it's gonna be fantastic because I'm sweating under this hat here and the sun's beating down. It's a beautiful day. And um, I'm gonna bloody go and have a, a bath in that beautiful dam down there. Check it out, isn't that beautiful? Amazing, amazing place. Look at that. So we're gonna go down there and have a swim and then I'm heading off. And that was a great weekend. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you put your fire out. You gotta put your fire out, see? All put out. No chance of a fire in the forest here. So that's it. That's the end of the holiday. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Next time.